Bring it out. Right? You had a wife, you wouldn't want your wife hopping from man to man, hopping from rod to rod. Uh -huh. That's wicked, that's off, and that's the door. Hey man, I'm mixed. Right, right. so I'm likewise with the Israelites, we can't hop from God to God. Right. Now we, we in the mass jig, then we run across the street to the Christian John Baptist Church. Right? And then we kinda we kinda go to that damn Buddha temple and we chat in the Buddha and we worship in these different idols. That's spiritual fornication in the sight of the Lord. Bring this out. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, and verse 5. Bring it out. For thy maker is thine husband. What the Bible say? For, For thy, thy maker, maker is thy husband. husband. Who made us, man? The most high God. He made every last creature out there. Right? Hey, why do y'all tell me shit about white people? The Lord, our host, is his name. What the Bible say? The, the Lord, our host, is his, his name. name. Right, son of Pope Alexander the Sixth of Rome. Right, this man committed a plethora of crimes and atrocities on the earth. Right, he was a murderer, a homosexual, slept with his sister, a pedophile. Man, white right, power freedom. matters, bro. And white lives, lives matter. Shall come shortly white to lives end. matter, right. bro. White, white lives matter. All boy. lives matter. He have made an All image of his child matter. soon. Every away. life matters. Now they honor, him as God. They honor this man as a God. Right? All and brother, don't pay matters. attention to that because that's the spiritual demon Satan. That's I'm right. take away the word from you. That's right? Real quick, give me Mark chapter 4 and verse 14. Bring it out. Right? So we have to stay focused in the spirit of the Lord. That's right? Because right. whenever the I word of God believe. coming out, you got spirits and principalities trying to rage more against the lives matter. Everybody right? so you matters. Have to focus. Right? You have to understand that this is the devil on earth. All lives matter. Mark chapter four, every verse life seems to matter. It's the book of chapter so four. Every, every, every book, book of verse life. 14. Every every life. Life. The soul is so of the word. Right, we out here giving you the word. We saw in the word. All all and these are they by every the wayside. Where the, 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 the word is so. Every book but of life seems to matter. They have heard. All lives matter. All lives matter. What the Bible say? All lives matter. Come with the meeting. What the Bible say? Satan. Come with the meeting. Right, so the Bible say Satan come with the meeting. So whenever we out here preaching the word of God, magnifying the name of the Lord, like waking up our people, going against the like so-called white man and white supremacy, right? Read on. And taking away the word. Right, so that Satan. Was sown. Right, so like you Satan is taking away the word that's sown in your hearts. That's right. right. So Hold post right there, Cain. Right. Read on. And taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. Right, so Satan tries to come away and take away the word that's sown in your heart, brother. Right, so we have to stay focused. We have to understand that the so-called white man is the devil. Right, now give me Daniel chapter 10 and verse 5. Right, so again, this is son of Pope Alexander the Sixth of Rome. Right beside the sister. Give me Job chapter outside. 9 and verse 24. Right give me the there. blessing. Yeah, right there. Because only a devil will cover the face of Jesus Christ. Only the devil will co Queen cover the members. face of the angels. Clan members, Only the devil all lives the matter. Clan members, all God. lives God. matter. Right? We're a part of the same group. All clans matter. What you guys, devil? Job chapter nine. Verse Maybe you shouldn't do this in front of people's buildings. All clans matter. Give me the book of Job chapter nine, all verse twenty-four. This is the book of Job chapter nine. Ladies and gentlemen, the verse number twenty-four. Bring it out. The earth matter. is given into the all hand of the wicked. The Bible matter. says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. What the Lord say? The earth is given. 
the wicked, and the wicked is the so-called white man. That's, That's right. The right. The That's right. The man that enslaved our people. Right, the man that lynched us. Right, the man that fed our children the alligators. Huh. The right. man that played hit the nigga baby. That's huh. right. The man that has hatred towards you ever since the birth. Man. That's right. Huh. Read on. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. And he covered the faces of the judges thereof. Who are the judges of the earth? Christ, the angels, chief of the most high God, Yahweh. Right, the disciples, the apostles. He covered their faces and made them white men. That's right. Right during the Renaissance period, which means the rebirth when they whitewashed all the images. Read on. If not, where and who is he? The white man is not the devil. Where and who is he? That's right. Right. Show me the devil on the earth. No other nation has done this, man. Why you don't see an East Indian Jesus Christ? Why you don't see an Asian Jesus Christ? You only see a white Jesus Christ. Because the so-called white man changed the depiction of the Lord. That's, That's right. right. Right to set up his white supremacy and to further enslave our people. That's keep right. Us in the slave mentality. That's right. Give me the book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. And that's why the Lord said this in the scripture, man. So we out here to tear down these spiritual strongholds. It's the book of John, chapter 8, and verse number 32. Bring right it out. out. And it reads. And ye shall know the truth. What the Bible say? And, and ye, ye shall, shall know, know the, the truth. truth. So the Bible say, ye shall know the truth. This is the truth according to the Bible. That's, that's right. right. And the truth shall make you free. What the Bible say? And, and the, the truth, truth shall make, make you free. free. What the scripture say? And, and the, the truth, truth shall, shall make, make you free. free. And the Lord said, the truth shall make you free. Bro. That's right. So once you find out you're an Israelite, once you find out you're Christ is a black man, once you find out that you won't let other people speak, Right, you're the Lord said, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. That's right. You won't let other people speak. They That's answer they him. Wrong. We be Abraham's seed, and, and we're wrong. never like bitch, in bondage to any man. Give me Psalms chapter 119, verse 142. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Look at these spirits out here, man. Hey, man, we browsing these spirits up. That's right. Uh, we, getting these devils roused up. we getting these devils roused up. Bring it out. Bring it out. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 142. Bring it out. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Read on. And thy law is the truth. What the Bible say? And, and thy law is, is the, the truth. truth. Right, so the Lord said the law, statutes, and commandments is the truth. So now, <laughs> brother, knowing you an Israelite, knowing that you're a king on the earth, you have to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. So That's Lord, right. Give me Second Chronicles chapter seven and verse fourteen. Matter of fact, give me Hosea chapter fourteen and verse one. Bring it out. Right. Hosea chapter fourteen and verse one. The book of Hosea chapter fourteen and verse number one. Bring it out. Oh Israel, what? Oh Israel, oh Yasha Allah. Oh, princes of the power. Read That's on. right. Return unto the Lord. Do what? Return, return unto, unto the Lord. Lord. You gotta return unto the Lord, brother. Read on. Thy God. Thy what? Thy God. You gotta return unto the Lord your God. Read on. For thou hast fallen. Thou hast what? For thou hast fallen. Read on. By thy iniquity. That's why we failed, brother, because we broke the commandments of That's the Lord. That's right. We wanted to eat abominations. We wanted to worship for all. Asterisk. We wanted to go to different gods and God, and that's why the Lord stripped the kingdom away from us. That's right. Read on. Take with your words. Do what? Take, take with, with your, your words. words. Right, so the Lord said, take with your words. So as we'll you return back to the Lord, you got to take the scriptures. Yeah, you good. You How you good? You're in captivity. Gave us and the instruction that he gave us to live by. Read on. And turn to the Lord. And do what? And, and turn, turn to, to the Lord. Lord. And turn back to the Lord. Now give me Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 8. Right, so the Lord said we have fallen wow, by wow, our iniquity. Wow. Right, Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 8. This is the book <laughs> of Isaiah, chapter 3 and verse 8. Bring it out. For Jerusalem is ruined. What the Bible say? For Jerusalem is ruined. And guess what, man? Ain't no damn bubbles going to stop the men of the Lord. That's, that's right. All right. the bubbles to stop the men of the Lord. That's, that's right. right. Right, right. Hey, guns ain't going to stop the men of the Lord. Fire ain't gonna stop the men of the Lord. Yes, no right. principality, no carnal weapon is gonna be able to rise up against the men of the Lord. That's, That's right. right. Bring this out. And Judah is full. What the Bible say? And Judah is full. And Judah is full. Right, because the Israelites, we consist of 12 tribes. Right, Jacob had 12 sons. His Watch your back. Which means he is praised. The Lord said, We are fallen wild. Because their tongue. And their doings are against the Lord. Because our tongue and our doings are against the Heavenly Father. That's why we fail, brother. 
Because we broke the commandments. Read on. To provoke the eyes of his glory. To do what? To, to provoke, provoke the eyes of his glory. In the book of Judges, chapter 2 and verse 10. Right? Judges, chapter 2 this and the verse book 10. of Judges, chapter 2 and verse number 10. Bring it out. And also, all that generation were gathered into the fathers. <laughs> and there arose another generation. There arose another generation. Read on. After them. Which knew not the Lord. Which what? Which, which knew, knew not, not the, the Lord. Lord. Right, so we are that generation that didn't know the Lord, brother. That's right. Because most of our people grew up in the church house. <laughs> right, grew up catching the so-called Holy Ghost in the church house. That's right. Most of our people grew up in um, Islam, wearing kufis on their head. That's right. Throws. Right, keeping a month of Ramadan. <laughs> right? Doing all manner of wickedness. Read on. Nor yet the works which he had done for Israel. And they didn't know the works that the Lord done for Israel. Give me Exodus chapter 14, verse 21. Bring it out. Let's get a work that the Heavenly Father done for the Israelites. Give me Psalms chapter 136, but verse 1. Right? Of God? So we got to find out and these understand the works losers. that the Lord did for our people. The this, Lord didn't do these works for other nations. Do you think the Lord cared about the so called white right man, woman, and child? Like, uh, hell no, man. The Lord cares about the Israelites and the Israelites' own. That's, that's right. right. We are the chosen people. That's right. We are the people that's beloved of God. Give me what's the Psalm in chapter 4, verse 15. Break it out. Right? You get that. Give me what's the Psalm in chapter 4, verse 15. Bring this out. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 14, verse 21. Bring right. it out. And Moses stretched out his hand. It say Moses stretched out his hand. They're not going to teach you in school. Right? He said Moses stretched out his hand and did what? Over the sea. And the Lord caused the sea to go back by strong east wind. Right, so the Lord caused the sea to go back Whoa. by strong east all wind. You Read on. All that nothing. night. All that what? All that night. Read on. And made the sea dry land. And made the sea dry land. In the water. 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 In Right, so this is because we had to walk across this Red Sea. Because you had the Egyptians pursuing after our people to destroy us. So the Lord parted the Red Sea for the sake of the Israelites so we can be delivered from the Egyptians. That's right. Now give me Psalms chapter 136 and verse 1. Bring it out. Book of Psalms chapter 136 and verse number 1. Oh, give, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good. What the Bible say? Oh, give thanks Put that down. Unto hey. the Lord for he is good. Oh, give thanks Doing. unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah for he is good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for his good. Read on. Don't do that, brother. Take, try to take nothing that belongs to us. That's our property. We're not going nowhere. The Lord sent us out here. Okay, so if the Lord sent me out here, I would have got it, That's just a thing, man. Right? 1 Kings chapter 10 and verse 9. Huh? It's the book of 1 Kings. Chapter 10 and verse number 9. We like when you know, Talaki, we like when these demons get roused up. Ah. We like when these demons want to steal our property, right? Spit at us, right? Calling us niggers, calling us bywords. Because guess what? The so-called white man ass is going to slavery. That's, That's right. right. Right? This kingdom is falling as we speak. That's right. Why? Because the men of the Lord are rising back up. Huh. Like huh. the Lord said, hurt not the oil and the wine. We still have the knowledge, brother. The Lord is pouring out this wisdom in the last days for the Israelites. And all these nations that conspired against us, they hate us. Bring this out. It's the book of first Kings. It's the book of first Kings, chapter 10, and verse number 9. I'm going to show you that the Lord loves Israel. Bring it out. Bless be the Lord thy God. What the Bible say? Bless be the Lord thy God. What the scripture say? Bless be the Lord thy God. What the Bible say? Bless be the Lord thy God. Hey, bless be the Lord our God. Read on. Which delighted in thee and to set thee on the throne right, of Israel. Read on. Because the Lord loves Israel. Like the Lord loves who? The Lord loves Israel. The Lord loves the white man. The Lord loves Israel. The Lord loves Israel. The Lord loves Israel. The Lord loves Israel. That's right. Lord that vehicle. That's right. Read on. Forever. For what? Forever. So the Lord loves Israel forever. That's right. He didn't say he loved the Chinese man. Come. He didn't say he loved the white man. Come. He didn't say he loved the East Indian man. Come. He said he loves the Israelites forever. That's right. Give me 2 Kings chapter 5 and verse 15. It's the book of 2 Kings chapter 5 and verse number 15. Bring right it out. Now. And it reads, and he returned to the man of God and, and he and all his company and came and stood before him and he said behold now i know that there is no god in all the earth 
But in Israel. But in where? But, but in, in Israel. Israel. There's no God in all the earth, but in Israel. That's right. So God is only the God of Israel, brother. Playing upon the table. Give me Joel chapter 2 and verse 27. If you get that, brother. Rashad, give me that. Joel chapter 2 and verse 27. Bring it out. Right, so we bringing out the scriptures and thus is the Lord. So we read about all the mighty works of the Heavenly Father that he's not for the chosen people. Right? Who has 2 Kings 19 and 35? This is the book of 2 Kings, chapter 19, verse 35. Bring it out. And it came to pass. And it came to pass. Read on. That that night that the angel of the Lord that went the out. angel of the Lord. Right? We read about angels in the scriptures. Now, in the church house, it would teach you that angels are little white babies with down little hair in their head like alfalfa wearing a pepper and they got the damn cupid uh, bow and arrow no angels are all spirits angels are fierce give me that judges chapter 13 and verse 9 bring it up hold this give me judges 13 and 9 right right judges 13 and 9 it's the book of judges chapter 13 and verse Number nine. Bring it out. And it reads. And God hearkened to the voice of Manoah. And the angel of God. And the what? And the angel of God. And the what? And the angel of God. Read on. Came again unto the woman. And she sat in the field. But Manoah, her husband, was not with her. And the woman made haste and ran and showed her husband and said unto him, Behold, the man has speared unto me, Salakia. Behold, the men have appeared unto me the that word. came unto me the other day. Read on. And Manoah arose and went after his wife. And he came to the man and said unto him, Art thou the man that speaketh unto the woman? I said fucking move. I said fucking move. We that moving. This is a public street. You don't run nothing. You don't run nothing. You don't run nothing. Yeah, you gonna get up out of here. Dump the alcohol on our property. Did you just hit me with the stick? We're not some Christians out here. Get out of here. Get out of here. You get out of here. You get out of here. Get out of here. You get out of here. You get out of here. Nobody's asking you. Right, everybody get back on the line. We only need one brother for them, man. Good. You're speaking for all black people, you piece of shit. We're not black. We're right. black. That's right. Get the fuck away from me. Right. Give me Matthew chapter five. I would really, I would really step back. Give me Matthew chapter five. Let's not let that I would really step back. Matthew chapter five. Everybody stand step down. Keep order. Let's not let the spirit of demons sing and mess up this edification of the hill. This is the book of Matthew chapter five. Give verse five. Verse five. Bring, Bring it out. out. Verse uh, seventeen. Right. Think not that I. Hey, I'd like to call for. There's like a group of black people right? All praises to the most high. All praises to the most high. All praises. Thank you, Timothy chapter 3 and verse 12. God. Right? Give me 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 12. Bring it out. Right? Getting the authority is called on us. Right? I live here, you dumb fuck. Right? Spitting at us. Give me 2 yes, Timothy yes. 3 and 12. Bring it out. All right. This is the book of 2 Timothy. Chapter 3 and verse number 12. Bring it out. And it reads. Watch your back. Ye and all that will live godly in Christ. What the Bible say? Ye and all that will live godly in Christ. Jesus shall suffer persecution. Right, so it say all that live godly in the Mashiach Yahushua shall suffer persecution. Uh, no, I, I, right, I, so I, we like suffer in persecution because we out here wake up our people. That's right. We out here to here. give our elder the word of life. You have the spiritual demon Satan coming up yeah. trying to take away the word that's that right. in the heart of this elder, man. Huh. Right, so all that live godly in the Mashiach shall suffer persecution. That's right. Right, Paul went through persecution. Right, the apostles, the disciples, they all suffered that persecution. Right? Here for right, give me Acts chapter 5 and yeah, verse 35. Yeah. Not sure this why. is the book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 10. Bring it out. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake. It's a blessed are they that are persecuted for righteousness' sake. So we out here for the sake of righteousness. Brothers that drove hours to come to Richmond to give our people the word of life. Right. Right, you got the spiritual demon Satan and this wicked conspiracy, this wicked damn mink dominion trying to come up with this stuff. But it's 
For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. For theirs is the kingdom of Yahweh by Shemamash Yahweh Malaki Yahusha. That's right. Keep reading. Blessed for ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. For what? For, for my, my sake. sake. For what? For, for my, my sake. sake. For my sake. And when they come down. All right, read on. Rejoice. Do what? Rejoice. Rejoice. Do what? Rejoice. Rejoice. I'm actually happy, man. I'm actually happy you call waters on our posters. I'm happy you calling the cops on us. That make me happy, man. That's right. I know I'm doing something right. And we know we're doing something right. That's right. We know that we magnify the name of the Lord. That's, That's right. 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 All praises to the most high. That's All my praise day, to man. the most high. Hey, I was having a bad week. We came out here. He's calling the cops on us. Now I'm having a good week. That's uh, right. Uh, that's right. Right? Now bring this up. Uh, Acts 5 35. Yeah, Acts 5 and 35. It's the book of Acts, chapter 5 and verse number 35. Uh, bring it out. And it reads, and said unto them, ye men of Israel, right? take heed of yourselves. Do what? Take, take heed, heed of yourselves. yourselves. We have to take heed of ourselves. Read on. What ye intend to do as touching these men. Right? For before these days rose up, Thaddeus boasted himself to be somebody. To whom a number of men, about four hundred, joined themselves, who were slain, and all and all, as many as obeyed him, were scattered and brought to naught. Right. Keep reading. After this man rose up, Judas of Galilee, in the days of the taxes, and drew away much people after him. He also perished, and all, even as many as obeyed him, were dispersed. Teach. Give me Acts chapter 5, verse 38. Bring it out. It's the right. book of Acts chapter 5 and verse 38. Bring it and out. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men. Do what? Refrain, refrain from, from these men. men. Do what? Refrain, refrain from, from these men. men. And leave us the hell alone. That's right. And let them alone. And do what? And, and let, let them, them alone. alone. And do what? And, and let, let them, them alone. alone. Leave us alone. Read That's on. Right. For if this counsel of this work be of men, it will come to naught. It will do what? It, it will, will come, come to naught. So if this was of men, it will come to naught. That's well, right. We understand and know that this is not of man. This is all set up and ordained by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Read on. <laughs> but if it be of God. If it be of what? But if it be of God. God. So this is of God. What we're doing right now is of God. Read on. You cannot overthrow it. You cannot what? You, you cannot, cannot overthrow, overthrow it. You cannot what? You, you cannot, cannot overthrow, overthrow it. You cannot overthrow it. That's right. right. No matter how much police you call. That's no right. No matter how much water you throw on us. That's right. How much bubbles you blow. That's how right. How much guns you pull out. That's right. How much dogs you bring out. That's right. You cannot overthrow the words of God. That's, That's right. right. Read on. Let's happily ye be found even to fight against God. He's trying to fight against the Lord. Man. Yes, he is. Yeah. And it goes back to that old saying, your hands too short to box with the Lord. Yeah. Read on. And him, they agreed. And when they had called the apostles and beaten them. And did what? They and beat called the apostles and, and beaten them. And did what? They, they called, called the apostles and, and beat them. So they beat up the apostles. That's right? right. So what we're going through right now, and this is light affliction. That's Come right. On us. Yeah. Blowing bubbles, we bringing out dogs. That's light affliction, man. Right. And hey, the apostles got beat for the word of the Lord. That's, That's right. 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 They commanded that they should not speak in the name of Jesus. Hey, hey, that, ain't that what he said? Yeah. Yeah. Close up, leave. I don't want you speaking. Read on. <laughs> and let them go. And they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing. Doing what? Rejoicing. They, they, and they departed. From the presence of the council, rejoicing. Hey, imagine the kind of spirit that you got to be in. That's right. You just right. got beat up, man. <laughs> Missing tooth. You got a black eye. You got two shiners. That's right. right. The ribs kind of on your back. Ah, right? And you still rejoicing in the name of the Lord. Huh? That's right. You still rejoicing to your Hawabah Shem Yahweh That's right. Because right. you got beat for the words of the Lord. Oh, praise. Suffering shame for the words oh, of the Lord. Oh, praise. That's right. Read on. That they were counted worthy to suffer. Shame for his name. Hey, all praise. That means we doing something right, man. That's right. Hey, brothers got to give all praises. All oh, praises, honor, glory, praises glory to the most high. We doing something right, man. Brothers in the spirit out here, man. Come on, right. we getting beat, if we getting spit it on, if we getting water poured on us, man. Right? So all praises to the most high God. All praises. All praises. Praise. 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 Right, so let's continue on with the word of the Lord. Uh, let's get some commandments for the elders. Bring it up. Uh, give me Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 6. Bring it up. 
This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 8 and verse 6. Bring it out! For thou, therefore thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord. Therefore thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God. Thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God. That's right, because we read the scriptures, Hosea chapter 14, verse 1, Isaiah chapter 3, and verse 8. Judges chapter 2 and verse 10, we failed because we didn't keep the commandments of the Lord. So in order to be delivered from this wicked oppression, we have to start keeping the commandments of God. Bring it out, King. Right? So what's some commandments of the Lord that we have to keep? Brothers, bring it out. Give me Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. This is, okay. the, this is the book of Leviticus chapter 21 and verse number 5. Bring right? it out. They shall not make boldness. Upon their head. What the Bible say? They, they shall not make baldness upon, upon their, their head. head. Right, so the Lord said as an Israelite, you can't shave your head bald. That's right. Now you have a lot of bald so-called black men in the last days. You have Ray Allen. You have Michael Jordan. Right, you have damn, who else, man? Kenny Smith. Mm-hmm. Right, you have, who else, man? You got a lot of bald brothers. Steve Harvey. That's right. You know, so the Lord said, as an Israelite, you can't shave off your head bald. That's right. Now, if you are going bald, that's okay, right? Because we understand genetics. When you get older, your hairline started receding a little bit. You start losing hair. Uh, the Lord said you're still clean according to Leviticus the 13th chapter. But if you willfully shaving off your head, that's a sin against the Lord your God, right? Because that's what the Egyptians were doing. Give me Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 3. Bring it out. This is the book of Leviticus chapter 18. And verse 3. Bring it out. After the doings of the land of Egypt, where ye dwell, shall ye not go. Bring that out. After the doings of the land of Egypt, where ye dwell, shall ye not do. So the Lord said, After the doings of the land of Egypt, where ye dwell, shall ye not do. So it's a well known fact that the Pharaohs and the Egyptians, they had shaved heads. Right, they wore mascara, they also wore makeup, they also wore skirts, they also ate shrimp, crab, lobster, and pork. Right, so the Lord said, after these doings of the other nations, shall we not do? That's, That's right. Right, because right? the other nations, they're wicked and vile. That's right. Right, right? the Israelites were holy and separate. That's, That's right. right. Bring this out. And after the doings of the land of Canaan, whether I bring you, shall ye not do? Neither shall ye walk in their ordinances. What's the Bible say? Neither, Neither shall, shall ye walk, walk in, in their, their ordinances. ordinances. Neither shall ye walk in their ordinances. So one of the ordinances of the Egyptians was to shave off their head. Huh? To appear bald head. So go back to Leviticus 21 and 5. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 21, and verse number 5. Bring it out. And he that uncovered, oh, Salak, 21. All right, it's about to be here. Let's start from the beginning. No, keep reading on the first one. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beards. That's why every brother out here who wants to can grow beards, we have beards on our beards. Uh, That's right. Right. Brother Yaku, brother right? 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 All these brothers have beards upon their face because that's a sign of manly dignity. That's right. That's right. Right? You have to grow that beard. Your beard is like your mane, right? Like a lion have a mane. You're not going to see a lion, a male lion with a shaved mane. It's going to look like a lion this. That's right. You understand? Well, bring this bring this up. <laughs> Nor make any cuttings in their flesh. Give me Leviticus 19 to 27. Right? It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, and verse number 27. Bring it out. Ye shall not round the corners of your head. What the Bible say? Ye shall not round the corners of your head. What the Lord say? Ye shall not round. The, the corners, corners of, of your head. head. So the Lord said the Israelites cannot round the corners of their head. That's right. Right. right? Oh, you're cutting off and trimming your natural line. Right. Read on. Neither shall thou make any make salaki. Neither shall thou mark the corners of thy beard. What the Bible say? Neither, Neither shall thou mark the, the corners of thy beard. beard. Right now, give me First Chronicles chapter 19. Salaki, give me Second Samuel chapter 10 and verse 4. Bring it out. Second Samuel 10 and 4, that's what I want. And this is all going back to the beard. Right? Second Samuel chapter 10 and 4. Sorry, bro. This is the book of Second Samuel chapter hey, let me 10 get you a flyer. and verse 4. Bring it out. We out here waking our people up. The most high sent his son to get us out of captivity. Repent. Pull up the QR. The 
Cut off their garments in the middle, even to the buttocks, and sent them away. So he embarrassed these men. Right, he took David's servants, cut off half of their beard, and cut off their garment to the buttocks. That's right. Read on. When they told it unto David. And when they ran and told David, read on. He sent to them. He sent me. He sent to meet them. Because the men were greatly ashamed. The men were what? The, the men, men were ashamed. greatly ashamed. Why were they greatly ashamed? Because imagine walking around with one half of your beard. That's right. Right. This side has a it's woolly, it's mighty, and this side looks like a damn shaved so-called white man in that damn car right there. That's right. Right? Then the king said, Terry at Jericho. Yes, it looked Terry at Jericho. Terry in Israel. Read on. Until your beards be grown. Until your beards grow back. That's right. right. So it was a sign of manly dignity for Israelites to have beards on their face. Not like the so-called white man. He loved to shave off his beard and look effeminate, put on his suit and tie, right? Go dress up, go on the, the biggest damn cliff, right? The so-called white man likes to do that, man. That's right. Right? Hey, so-called white man going to slavery, man. That's right. That's right. right. Hey, we hate all you devils. That's, That's right. 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 Bring it up. <laughs> hey, the devils know what's up, man. Uh -huh. I like them kind of devils, though, man. Because right? they don't hide their hatred. That's right. That's right. Why you got a lot of these slick people might be trying to hide their hatred with lying lips and deceitful words. Right? We like to eat them might that straight up tell you how they feel. Come. That's right. Right? But nonetheless, we're going. Terry at Jericho until your beards be grown. Do what? Terry, Terry at, at Jericho, Jericho until, until your, your beards, beards be grown. grown. Terry at Jericho until your beards be grown. Right? So again, Israelite men had beards on their face and they both. Again, not like the so-called white man. The white man likes to shave off his beard, Gillette Fusion, dress up in a suit and tie, go to his biggest office building. Ye shall not make any cuts in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. Right, bring it out. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore, lest the land fall to the whore and the land become full of wickedness. Right, so that's the land that give me. It, it is, is unclean, unclean unto you. you. Pork is unclean unto us, brother. So us as Israelites, we cannot eat of the pork. You eat pork, brother. Do you eat pork? Right now, this is what God is saying in the Bible. He said the Israelites, us, brother, we cannot eat pork. Because pork is unclean unto us. That's you. right. Right? Pork doesn't chew the cud, meaning he doesn't properly digest his meal. Right? He, have, he doesn't have the four rudiments that clean animals have to properly digest the meal for the sake of nutrients. Pigs doesn't have that. Neither do they, so I can neither do they have sweat glands. That's right. So everything a pig eat, it gets stored within their fatty tissues. So this is why the Lord said we can't partake in eating that pig. That's right. Give me Mark chapter 5 and verse 9. Oh, that. Mark chapter 5 and verse 9. <clears throat> the book of Mark, chapter 5, and verse number 9. Bring it out! And it read, and he asked him, what is my, thy name? And he asked him, saying, my name is Legion. Right, so this is a man in Mark, the fifth chapter, that had a legion of demons upon him. That's over, that's about 2,500 to 3,000 demons. That's right. Right, so this man had a plethora of demons upon him. Read on. For we are many. We are what? For, For we, we are many. many. They say, we are many. Right? Read on. And he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. Now, there was there nigh unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding. Right, so there was feeding swine, which is a nasty profession to actually feed swine because pigs eat anything. So you can feed swine clothes. Pigs eat jerry. Pigs eat other dead pigs. Pigs eat insects. 
insects, thieves eat anything on earth, brother. Because they are the garbage disposal of earth. That's right. Okay, read on. And, and he besought them, besought him, much that he would not send them away out of the country. Salakia. Now there was there, and now there was there nine unto the mountains a great, a great herd of swine feeding. And all the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine. Do what? Send, Send us, us into, into the swine. What did these demons say? Send, Send us into, into the swine. What did these spirits say? Send, Send us into, into the, the swine. So there's actually demons inside of pigs, brother. That's right. That's what the Bible says. <laughs> so the next time you eat that pork chop, it might be a lust demon in there. That's right. Uh, it might be a homosexual demon in there. That's right. It might be a demon that hate and murder your brother. You That's know? right. So after you eat that pork chop, you might pick up a gun and go kill somebody. Uh -huh. That's right. Now that spirit is upon you. And not just one spirit, it's a legion of spirits in pork, brother. That's right. So this is why we have to abstain from eating pork chops as the men of the Lord, as the children of Israel, That's as right. the servants of God. Now give me Isaiah chapter 65, verse 3. Bring it out. Right? Now give me Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 9. It's the book of Isaiah. Chapter 65 and verse number three. Hey, why do you need the rage? You got the heed the rage. That guy's evil. Yeah, yeah. Bring it up. He's the spirit. Chapter so like, yeah, that's another thing. We can't just look at a person and determine what nationality he is. When you look at him on a surface level, he looks like a maybe a, a mixed so called black man. That's right. Right? But we know he's actually an Edomite. That's oh, right. We know his father is the devil oh, on the earth. God. That's right. Right? Oh. So we have to be spiritual to detect who our enemies are in these last days. That's right. As it states in Iraq chapter 6 and verse 13, you take good heed of your friends, separate from your enemies. That's right. Your enemy is the chief house of the devil. That's, That's right. right. Okay. Now give me Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 3. It's the book of Isaiah chapter 65 and verse number 3. Bring it up. A people. That provoked me to anger, the Bible says. And people that, that provoked me to anger. And that's what our people do. They provoke the Lord to anger. That's Every right. Every time they go to the Sunday church, right? And they go to the Sunday uh -huh. church and they pick up that pork that chop. That's right. Sucking they gyrating all the You've seen it before, that's brother. That's right. They so-called catching you. Right? And they looking like spirits, man. Right? right? They got demons upon them. Right? Keep reading. Cut. Right? Continue to my face that sacrifice and sacrifice in gardens and burn of incense upon the altar of what? And burn of incense oh, oh, upon oh, altars oh, of brick. And they burn incense upon altars of brick. Read on. Which remain among the graves and lodge and the monuments. Which eat swine flesh. What? Which eat swine flesh. Which do what? Which eat swine flesh. Say they eat that swine flesh. Read on. Look. And the what? And, and broth of abominable things is in their vessels. And the broth of abominable things are in their vessels. Give me Jeremiah chapter 42. Right? The so-called white man going to slave. Huh? That's, That's right. 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 Point, Dexter. right? You're going to slave. That's right. Right? All right. so-called white people are going to slave the to the Bible. Huh? Did you know that was in the Bible? I'm oh, sorry. Did you know that was in the Bible? I see Christianity is all stuff, man. I see Christianity is all grace and all the other ones. Alright, get out of here. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 11. Don't give me the word. Verse 9. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Alright, so the Lord said, These shall ye eat of all that are in the Wicked in Babylon, the great. Heavens and scales. What the Bible say? Whatsoever heavens and scales. In the waters. In the seas and in the rivers, then shall ye eat. Right, so the Lord Watch said, you. Whatever hath fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and the rivers, them shall ye eat. Shut so up. you can eat things that only have both fins and scales. It can't have one without the other. It has to have both attributes of fins and scales. Right? For example, you can eat whiting. Right? You can eat salmon. Give me Psalm chapter 68 and verse 14. Yashar. Bring it up. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 68. So right now what we're reading about is the dietary law. The things that we can and can't eat as the men of the Lord. Give me Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 44. Bring it out. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 68, verse number 14. Bring it out. When the Almighty scattered kings in it, it was 
Ye shall not defile yourself with any manner of creeping things. So the Lord said, ye shall not defile yourself with any manner of creeping things. Ye shall not defile yourself with any manner of creeping things. So the Lord said, ye shall not with any manner of creeping things. Those the things that creep upon the earth and also the things that creep upon the waters. That's right. Right, for example, shrimp, crab, lobster, calamari, iguana, turtle, alligator. Wake them up. The Lord said, you cannot eat these things, brother. It's an abomination. So if you consume any these different abominable foods, you have to stop immediately. That's right. Right warning, brother. This is admonition to get you to stop doing these wicked and abominable things. The Lord doesn't want you doing it. You got to make sure that pasta doesn't have any shrimp in it. That pasta doesn't have any crab legs in it. That pasta doesn't have any in it. Man of abomination to put that. That's right. Say it again. Again. You can eat spaghetti, brother. There's nothing wrong with that as long as it's clean spaghetti. That's right. Now, if it's spaghetti with the smoked sausage pork in it, then you can't eat it. That's right. Right? If it's spaghetti with the damn pork salami in it, then you can't eat it. Right? Now, bring out. Get set. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 11. Get set. And verse 9. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Whatsoever hath fins and scales in the waters, in right. the seas, in the rivers, and in them shall ye eat. Right. And all that have not fins nor scales. All that have not fins nor scales. Right. Now hold up. So just watch this, Damon. Right. Yaka Allah, brother. And you. Just three of y'all. They ain't got to be everybody. That's the with the word of the Lord. Okay. And all that have not been scales in the seas and in the rivers. Of Get all set. That move in Don't, the waters, Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Get set. Don't touch me. Get set. Why are you touching me? Of all that are in the water. You coming up here oh, sucking up. And you got this woman to help you. She's a sucker. She up there helping you out. You're an accomplice to a crime. He got you to take the cap out the water block. About water bottle. Hey, leave that lady and alone. And all that have not fins nor scales. 